Hey guys, it is Chris back here again with another episode of MTGA. We are currently playing a build of Jeskai, um, Jeskai God Pharaoh's Gift. Now the reason we're playing Jeskai is because with Narset, part of the Veil, and Dragon Mage, we can basically Narset wheel our opponent's hand. That's the plan. And we have a Thassa's Oracle and a bunch of other self-wheeling effects as our in-game to win the game. Then a bunch of things to discard thing cards early. Like Faithless Looting and... I think we have one of the... We may not have one of them. Um, one of the two mana spells, but I don't think we actually have it in this one. I think we instead opted for the Ox of Agonis route. First Nissa gets countered. That's a little sad, but... Playing against Blue-White, we knew that was an option. Just had to run it out, make them use their resources. Not gonna do anything else here, because we really can't do anything else. Unfortunately for us, this looks like it's gonna be an Ox of Agonis turn. Just gonna get rid of the refurbish in our hand, which is kind of irreplaceable, but... It's not as bad as it looks. We just need to get things in our yard. Because the refurbish doesn't do anything unless we have creatures in our yard. Unless we have Godfair's gift in our yard, which we didn't get from that, but we got closer to it by drawing three. Nissa might also help us get there if we can actually play it. Opponent is looking over the Ox of Agonis really questionably. Don't know. They probably don't know what we're thinking. But we have six mana here, so we're going to Narset first. See if we can get any value there. Unfortunately, it hits in the gate. Then we go to Champion Wits. It'll also draw us a card. Dragon Mage and Godfair's Gift go to the bin. And now we are one refurbish away from uh, doing some shenanigans. Well, Godfair's Gift and Nissa. But. What can you do? We could have kept the Godfair's Gift there and hoped to have drawn a land. They're going to Glass Casket our Champion of Wits. That's a little sad. We drew a Thassa's Oracle. The cat's out of the bag. We have more than one of them, so it doesn't really matter if uh, we play this one. They counter it. It goes in the bin. It's honestly better off in the bin anyways. Our ox has eaten through all the soldiers. Our opponent is running out of resources because they are, they are trying to counter it out of the game. But unfortunately for them, kind of want 90% of our cards in the graveyard anyways. Dream Trawler comes down. We draw a Dragon Mage. This deck is not supposed to hard cast a Dragon Mage, but it can hard cast a Dragon Mage. So we have to stay back with the Ox because it would just get eaten by the Dream Trawler. Opponent draws. Dream Trawler's power goes up by one. They're thinking over their options. Probably wondering whether or not it's worth it to get hit by Dragon Mage. Or whether or not they should just attack in and try to kill it. Looks like they're going to try to let us hit them. I think they're going to try to let us hit them. They might block, but... They are just as low on cards as we are. And while we will get to use our cards first, our opponent might think this is a better deal for them. They might. They flash an Omen of the Sun. Little ground creatures cannot block a flying dragon, so that's not a problem for us. Looks like the thing about scrying as well. Yep, scrying. Gotta figure out what's on the top and whether or not it's wanted. And it doesn't look like it's very wanted. So we swing in. We discard one, draw seven.
play a land. Faithless looting. We can play Godfair's Gifts afterwards if we need to. We don't actually need to. We got the um, Refurbish off the top. So we can just Refurbish. Get one of our Godfair's Gifts back. Then next turn we can double wheel. And we can play Champion Wits this turn. Pretty decent for us. It's pretty much how this deck works. You get a Godfair's Gift down, wheel every turn, cast your hand every turn, wheel every turn. Until you get down to like six or seven cards left, and then you finish it off with uh, Brainstorm and Faceless Looting to draw the last few. Godfair's Gift returns Thoth's Oracle. It still has its devotion, so you at least get a minimum of two, but by that point you probably have at least a champion with their Nis on board. So as long as you have between four to five cards in the bottom of your library in your library, you can pretty much win the game with this deck. Our opponent is trying to make in a big attack here. I don't think they can get up to twelve, so we're not worry really worried about anything. They wrath the board. Got two mana left. We drew a faithless looting. It's a pretty decent draw for us. We eternalize a champion of wits. Draw four, discard two. Drew another refurbish. That'll be good in the future. Don't have the mana to cast it yet, but we moved our combat. We eternalize a well, we got Vert's Gift, a Dragon Mage, and we swing in. Gonna draw seven new cards. Opponent discards their hand, draw seven new cards. We're gonna draw two more cards. Faithless Looting. And we'll discard the Godfair's Gift and the Brainstorm, I think. No, probably a land, right? Yeah, Godfrey's Gift and Land. I want to keep up both Nisses because then we can just force one through in a turn. Getting close to the end of our library. Put the fourth Godfrey's Gift back on top of our library with Land. Don't really need it, don't really want it. Omen of the Sea comes down. Opponent is digging through their cards. They have 26 left. We have 12. We are close to executing our game plan. And unfortunately, Precognition says that this is the most interesting match of the game, so... This is where it's gonna stay. Hmm. Opponent sealed away our token. Really good value. Because the token disappears forever. Sad for the Godfather's Gift deck, but we're on the verge of winning anyway, so we don't really care. Try to get down Anissa. Our opponent thinking over their options. They decide to negate it. Probably the smartest choice. We attempt a second Nissa. They don't appear to have an answer for it. Godfair's Gift triggers. We eternalize another Dragon Mage. Dragon Mage swings in at our opponent. They seal away, unfortunately. Which means we do not get a Narset wheel our opponent. We Heartwarming Reunion. That'll discard four, three cards, draw us four, gain four. Pretty decent value. Got another Dragon Mage out of it. 
Uh, got the faithless looting. We're gonna need that more because we're at six cards in the library. Next turn we can win the game. Our opponent should have cast out our Godfather's gift. Because Thassa's Oracle will come down next turn. They may not have been aware of it, but they did counter Thassa's Oracle early in the game, so. I have at least seen that we have that combo capacity in our deck. We draw two, discard two. We are actually safe to brainstorm here, so we're going to give it a try. I have killed myself with brainstorm having two cards in hand because it says draw a card, which isn't necessarily how it looks. I actually don't know how many Thoughts Oracles we have in the deck. I hope we have at least two. I don't know. Yeah, we have at least two. They were all there. Thoughts Oracle triggers. We have Devotion 4. Our opponent uses as Kanta, but it's already too late. We look at our card, submit zero, and win the game. On to game two. Well, here in a second. Got a Avatar v Avatar battle. Need to see. Definitely need to see. So this is an okay opening hand. Have the potential to brainstorm lock ourselves, so we're going to give it a go. Luckily we drew a land. That's pretty good for us. Second land comes into play tapped, because we don't know what they're on. They might be a big damage deck. Mm, they're not a big damage deck, they're a one turn combo deck. So we Narset part of Avails. I would say I honestly miss uh, Teferi Time Raveler. Because if Teferi Time Raveler was still a card in Historic, this deck that we're facing would not exist. Because Teferi's act, uh, passive ability hard counters Emergent Ultimatum. But then again, I am a control player, I am a dirtly player. I do like less fun archetypes, and I guess you could make the argument that Immersion Ultimatum is more fun than a Teferi Stacks deck, but even when you make that argument, you don't convince me. So I think we're going to get a Dragon Mage here. Might not have one in the bin, though. Yeah, we don't have anything in the bin yet, do we? So we're going to have to put things in the bin with our Champion of Wits. So Dragon Mage, Dragon Mage goes in the bin. Faceless Looting. That'll put two Ox of Gonuses in the bin. And despite only having four cards in hand, we have four cards that we can activate. Albeit the Oxyvionuses are a bit expensive at this point in the game, but they'll get much cheaper as we go along. We're going to block with Champion of Wits. Um, don't want Nissa to die. Emergent Ultimatum comes down. Very sad news for us. We were one turn away from Nar setting that away. But this is probably the game for us. Yeah, Scholar, extra turn, final parting. So either we give them two really good things, or we give them an extra turn and a big thing. Not good choices for us. 
We're gonna put back final parting. The extra turn will kill us, but at least they don't get graveyard value. We're the graveyard deck here. We have our honor and pride to consider. They can cast their growth spiral from their graveyard if they want. Now, as it stands, we're not quite dead. Depending on what they're going to do. They have seven mana. It's a lot of mana. Don't know if they play the land this turn. They have eight mana. That's an in-raise forerunner. And that's probably the game. Hmm. Well, what can you do? That was game two. On to game three. Against Mondo Mirkat. This is a sketchy open hand, but we'll keep it. We've played sketchy open hands before. They haven't served us wrong. Play a land. They play a land. We play a land. We faithless looting. Put Godfair's Gift and Oracle in the bin. Our opponent plays a mountain. We play a shocked tap land. And then our opponent passes without making a land drop. We put down a Fable Passage. Opponent draws again. Hopefully they hit their land, but it looks like they didn't, and that's the game. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe. See you next one. Bye.